If you hear my cat meowing, she's lying. She has food. She has water. Her litter box is clean. She she has everything she could want. Two weeks ago, someone stole my bike. I was very unhappy because that bike was a gift. And this wasn't an expensive bike. It wasn't something that cost hundreds of dollars, but that was beyond the point. It was a gift and it was mine and someone took it and I was really upset. Yeah, that was a bummer. So last week, I had an appointment at the VA clinic and I happened to mention to one of the staff members that my bike was stolen. I wasn't telling this story so people could feel sorry for me. It was more like just having a conversation like, yeah, man, last week such and such happened. So the staff member looks at me. He's like, I might have a bike for you. And I said, oh, okay. He said, oh yeah, because I have a bike and oh, I don't ever use it. I even have an extra tire. I had two appointments that day. I was at the first appointment and he told me, he said, when you come back to your second appointment this afternoon, I'll have the bike ready for you and you can ride it home. And I said, okay. Actually, he went and got it while I was at my first appointment. So I got that appointment and there was this bike. A really nice bike, better than the one that was stolen. And he gave me an extra tire, an extra tube, and a bike lock. A bike lock. And I rode it home. All that needed to be done was that Derek had to adjust the seat. He had to lower the seat a bit. I love it, and I just kept. I like. I almost. Well, actually, I did tear up. I was gonna say I almost cried, but I did tear up when he said that. So that really just really made my day. A couple days later, I was at Safeway with Derek and we bumped into another veteran. Happens all the time. I always have the best conversations with veterans because they're usually just as disgruntled as me, except for I'm a younger disgruntled. We're having conversation. At the end of our conversation, he took off his cap and gave it to me and said, this is not a gift because you earn it. And it says, if you love your freedom, thank a vet. And then it says, veteran. It's brand new. Okay, so this guy did not give me some ball cap because he said he had more at home. He didn't give me some ball cap that he had been wearing for months that, that was covered with sweat. He literally must have put it on that day. Like right before he left the house because it was brand new, not, like nothing was on it. Pristine. It's not pristine now because I have animals and good coverage from, I, I, I like it because it's sun coverage and until I have bigger hair, it's like perfect. So I, then I almost teared up again because this was only a day or two after Paul gave me a bike. So I was just like, what is going on? Why are people being so nice? Something bad's about to happen now because everyone's being nice to me. So then <laughs> after the ball cap thing, either the next day or the day after, this all happened in the course of last week. It was just crazy. I am volunteering and minding my own business and then one of the librarians who's retired you know she's like hey joy how are you and i'm like fine and she was like so what time did you get here what time are you leaving are you getting lunch and i thought she was just asking just to make conversation that she was curious because she asked if i take a lunch and i usually don't because depending on the day either i'm going home around noon when uh, the children's librarian goes to lunch or I just keep working, depending on what day it is and what, and what events are going on. So she, so she said, because I would like to take you out for lunch. And I'm just like, what? She's like, yeah. And she's like, you know, I, I really appreciated the, life, uh, the volunteers when I was working here. And, and she's like, I would love to take you out for lunch. And I'm, I'm just like, what is going on with this week? This is the third time <laughs> that someone just gives me something. This is where I clam up because she kept trying to get out of me. Like, 
what kind of foods you like and and I was like no 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 whatever you want because I, you know she's paying for my lunch and I'm not gonna be like well I want sushi and a steak and so I was just like whatever you want and she ended up going to the we ended up going to the slanted I think we went to the slanted porch I ordered this really good cheeseburger it was a jalapeno burger and I don't really like hot stuff Derek loves the hot stuff but it had like this interesting cheese sauce and then it had actual fresh cut pieces of jalapeno and it has some other stuff on on it but everything together it kind of like canceled out the heat enough to, so i just got the flavor it was so good i think they cooked it medium because i unless i'm going to a fast food place i never eat meat that's well done but it was so good it was perfect it came with fries and I had like some iced tea. It was like this raspberry iced tea. And you know, we sat there and had good conversation. And it was just amazing that she was thinking about me and asked me to lunch. And just number one, the, the fact that someone thought of me. And number two, the fact that the food was good and I was actually hungry, put an extra pep in my step so when I went back to volunteer, I just was feeling really good. It really does affect me when people are, when I see that people for whatever reason want to help me or if they've just been thinking about me. In Paul's case, he just wasn't using this bike. And when he found out that I didn't have a bike anymore, he said, well, it, I'd rather give it to you than to have it collecting dust. And that was a big deal to me. As far as the veteran with the cap, amazing man, good conversation. And I've been wanting some sort of veteran ball cap, especially for the summer. I want to wear it while I wear it while I'm biking. And the lunch this was she obviously had been thinking about me for the past couple days because she had been in the library for quite a bit by the time she took me out for lunch was which, which, which was thursday i'm like oh i'm gonna i kept thinking okay all week people have been nice to me people have been giving me things something bad's gonna happen <laughs> i had actually expressed this to eleanor and she said well she said, you don't need to think of it that way. You know, think of it in a positive way. Because basically you can hurt yourself by being negative. You can make, you can make bad things happen. So nothing bad's going to happen until something bad happens. She is so lying. There is nothing wrong. She doesn't need anything. I think she just wants attention. So that's it.